There are clear gaps in uh, the marketplace today in terms of how business leaders use brand to help propel business. A major question that goes unanswered quite often is, what should I do? What's the benefit? How long is it going to take me to see the benefit? And to what cost? Those have been unanswered questions that we make it possible to answer. Vera is a blend of branding and technology, and I think that's a fundamental difference of who we are and, and what we do, because our DNA is in understanding brands. Our DNA is understanding how, how brands engage with the real world and, and what makes brands powerful and what makes big ideas good. And we also have a fundamental understanding of business that typically doesn't accompany an understanding of brands. These worlds are usually quite separate. What we've done is codified a set of principles so that it lives inside technology, right? So it's almost like we've taken the capacities and capabilities of brand understanding, packaged it up into a framework, and put that into a machine. And that machine's always on, and that machine's always collecting more data to tell more, more and more and more about the world. We're a predictive brand technology. I know, what, what the heck does that mean? Um, think of it as, if you recall Bob Ross, we are paint by numbers for marketers in order to measure, manage, and maximize their brands. How do you create love? And first, most people would chuckle, especially when we deal with CFOs and institutional investors. Love sounds kind of uh, cute and soft. The reality is brand love is a tangible metric. Um, we have the ability to measure the intangibles of an asset. Now, why does love matter? Just because you're a repeat buyer doesn't mean you're actually happy and engaged with the brand. You could be locked into a contract. You might have no other options. Um, you might not be able to afford another brand. True loyalty is when you have both the emotional and behavioral connection, and that pays significant dividends. Let me talk about some of the benefits of brand love. We're able to measure in real time across 200 sectors, 87 different countries, the different relationships and the economic benefits, such as love reduces price sensitivity. What I mean by that is if someone loves the brand, they're willing to pay a premium. We know the price elasticity. What else? Love creates ambassadorship. If you love a brand, you're going to go recommend to your friend. Love gives you option value. By that, I mean your brand has permission to expand to new adjacencies, new geographies, and new constituents. Love creates tenure. People spend more time with you and more occasions with you. And last but not least, what Wall Street really cares about is love creates total shareholder return. So Bera is a technology company. Uh, that digitizes data and analytics. You can think of Vera as a game, um, a video game, where you're presented with a brand, and the game is figure out how do you make that brand more important to people, and how do you make that brand more valuable to the people that own it. And part of that is addressing the language gap. Um, marketing has its speak, Finance has this speak, and they don't always understand each other. So we're trying to translate each language such that both sides of that conversation uh, can have an informed and educated uh, conversation so that they can do their jobs better. So how do we do this? The technology and the data has three parts. We help clients measure, maximize, and manage the relationship between consumer and brand. Measure, we have a billion data points that we're doing in real time. 200 different sectors, 4,000 brands, B2B and B2C. And we're always measuring the behavior and perceptions. Maximize, because we know the causal link between love and a business metric, sales, profit, total shareholder return, we can prove that linkage. And then manage the positioning and operational levers that need to be pulled and course corrected in real time it's all automated at their fingertips. So it's really the technology and the data that allows that to happen. Uh, and it's all tech driven, meaning it's automated. It's using data and analytics as predictive. So it's all about what's gonna happen tomorrow versus what happened yesterday. So Barra collects 
data through surveys around the world on a continuous basis. Uh, that information goes into a massive data warehouse. There's you know, well over a billion data points on brand coming through the system in a year. And we're able to present in different visualizations and different views uh, the answers effectively to key questions that we believe marketers and business people should be able to answer about their brands. I don't know if you know John Wanamaker. He's the guy that way back in the day, almost 100 years ago, said, I know my advertising works 50%, but I don't know which half. Well, now that we're able to understand brand's contribution to the bottom line, and you can attribute that by audience down to the zip code, that Wanamaker challenge can go away. The reason for that problem is lack of causality. I cannot connect the money I spend on marketing to the impact that it's having on my business. And uh, that problem is, is 100 years old and it's not been solved until now uh, because Bear has produced the data and the analytics that can solve the Wanamaker problem. It can prove causality or lack thereof between the investment that companies put in marketing the effect that that has on brand and the effect that it has on brand on business. So we like to think of ourselves as solving the Wanamaker problem. The second piece is that short-termism could be eliminated. If we're able to understand how to build long-lasting, loving relationships that are profitable and purposeful, that gap can be eliminated. Or at least the balance could be more in favor of brand building versus short-term tactics. There was a very small group of us who started this. Um, we went from two or three to you know, where we are today, and it's a huge change. And what I love about that is we've retained the very same things that allowed us to grow the way we have. So we look forward to a future where it may be a bit bold to say, but that we're the, we're the new currency for measuring whether a brand is performing to its potential. Uh, there have been a lot of pretenders. Um, we want to be the common currency for that, and, and I think that's what we aspire to, and that's what we're going to get.